Happy birthday, Capricorn! It's time for my monthly oracle card reading based on the signs of the zodiac. So this month, of course, is Capricorn birthday, and I am going to share with you a reading for you Capricorns out there using my story cards. And if you don't actually um, have a birthday in this Capricorn month, this will still be a fun video for you because I'm going to show you how you can do a reading like this yourself using my story cards deck or using any oracle deck that you have. Um, so the spread that I'm going to be using is my story spread, but it's very similar to the Celtic cross spread. I've just adapted it to the theme of my deck. So for example, we're gonna start in the center with the main character or the main issue. I'm using this hand-painted Capricorn card that I made yesterday, but you probably don't have this card. <laughs> so you can use one of the other cards in your deck. And there's always a lot of people cards in various Oracle decks and in tarot decks as well. So you wanna pick something that resonates with you personally. Um, something that you think reflects your personality. So I have some choices here from my deck. The thinker, maybe you feel like you're a storyteller, the explorer. I have a dreamer here on Venice Beach <laughs> on the boardwalk. Maybe you resonate with the feeling of being a mother or a king or a queen, a visionary. There's so many. I don't want to go through all of them right now, but um, I picked out just some of my favorites from my own deck. And um, you might want to pick the artist card. I know many of you who watch my feed are artists. And so the idea is that you would put yourself in the center, especially if you're thinking about a certain issue that revolves around a subject. So if you want to do a reading about your art, you'd want to put yourself in the center here. Um, and the artist card would work. If you're thinking more about your life as a mother, then you'd want to put the mother card in the middle. So that is how you would begin. I'm going to stick with the Capricorn card because that this is a zodiac reading. Um, and then what I'm going to do is set up the cards. Well, first I'm going to actually shuffle the cards. So I'm going to pick these up because that would not be an accurate reading. I just wanted to show you how to put them down, but I'm going to shuffle them up. And I always like to light a candle, too, for light and love. I'm going to shuffle these cards so that we can really get a reading for Capricorn for this coming year ahead. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in the two position. The one has already been accounted for here, but the two is whatever the conflict is for the Capricorn this month. And I'm feeling like I've shuffled enough. And I'm gonna cut the deck. I always cut the deck once to the left. And then I go around the center. Now one is accounted for, so I'm gonna cross the Capricorn with this two card. Three is the, is the past. Four is the present. Five is the future. And the sixth card is the resolution to the conflict here. So we would go around. If you're doing this yourself, you would turn over the cards. The conflict here is interesting. It is the fierce card. So I'm going to set this aside knowing it's the conflict, but I just want to make sure that I show you all the cards. In the past, sunshine girl. Present, we have nature boy. Future is the called card, and resolution is home. Well, this is a really interesting reading for you Capricorns out there. So what I'm feeling here, now as you are a reader yourself, you're going to tell the story. You're going to think about how these cards relate to each other, moving around, and also getting your intuition. And really, if anything jumps out at you, you're going to want to um, focus on that. So I sometimes like to focus on the resolution first. So the resolution for this conflict is that you are going to go back to feeling as if you have a happy home and the home is where love rules. And that's the name of the painting here is Let Love Rule, House Ruled by Love, excuse me. <laughs> and so knowing that, because I painted these, that helps me to interpret them. But you don't need to have painted your cards to interpret this card. 
you can also go to the handy booklet here and I could look up the home card. And what I would get here is, this is the house ruled by love, nesting, building, establishing, and sustaining a home base. So the resolution here to the conflict is that you're going to go back to the importance of your home base and creating this home base, and it will be important as a resolution to your conflict. So interestingly enough, we have a conflict here for Capricorn in the upcoming year is this desire to be a fierce creature, to really be someone who stands tall, who is brave, who maybe goes out into the world um, and tries to do something new and tries to do something that maybe is a challenge that they've never done before. And interestingly enough, what I see here is that there's the conflict kind of stems from the past card, which is Sunshine Girl. So this is a person who, for you, Capricorn, you have you feel you're always a good friend. That's the sort of sign that we have here as a Capricorn. You're a good friend, you're loyal, you are um, hardworking. Um, and so in the past, you've kind of like gone with this archetype of the sunshine girl, of the person that's always there for others. You're very supportive, you're very loyal, and that's what you've been working with. But there's a part of you that wants to break out and be this fierce girl, fierce woman, fierce person. It doesn't have to be female, even though these are female cards. It's probably my energy because I'm female <laughs> and I'm, I'm shuffling the cards. Um, so in the present, though, something that's really interesting you and maybe part of this desire to go out into the world has to do with the love of nature and really feeling like you need to get yourself out there, maybe take a trip, maybe um, get yourself more immersed in the natural world. And maybe there, there is a conflict between feeling like you're not allowed to do that for some reason. Um, the people in your life feel like you need to work. <laughs> You've always been a hard worker, Capricorn. That's sort of one of the, the traits of the sign. And you feel like maybe, you know, you're not allowed to go out in nature. You're not allowed to take a break from your work in order to pursue that part of yourself. But what's happening is that you're feeling called. You're feeling called to actually go out. This is the future card. You're feeling like th the call of the wild <laughs> is actually something that you need to listen to. And you almost feel like you're falling in love when you go out in nature and you're falling in love when you go with this passion of yours for adventure. Um, because this called card, if I look it up, here, which is sometimes handy if you want to get a little bit of more of an understanding of the card. It's nice to sometimes look at the definitions too. Um, called says the couple is entering a magical, mysterious world. It can be disorienting, but exciting, falling in love. So even though this card, I think, goes along with the narrative here of um, the Capricorn wanting to go out and have an adventure outside of the normal boundaries, there's also a feeling of romance going on. And maybe this romance is, if you're in a committed relationship, maybe this romance involves bringing your partner out into this adventure with you, which would, of course, fit handily with the resolution of really valuing your home and enhancing your home. Because when you take your partner out on your adventures with you, you build this home and make it stronger because you have that shared experience. If you're not in a committed relationship, part of this call to adventure may be one of self-discovery or also may be one of falling in love, meeting someone who also shares your love of adventure. So I think the conflict is so interesting because what you need to do, Capricorn, it seems to be, is to embrace this fierce part of yourself, but don't throw everything away. Just know that when you're fierce, when you follow, um, you face your fear and do something outside of your box that you are not going to throw away your home. The cards say you're actually going to strengthen your home, that you're going to make it your home base. is going to be more fulfilling for you, more whole because you are exploring this other part of your personality. So I hope that this has resonated for you as a Capricorn. And for those of you who are not Capricorns, why don't you try this out using a card that represents yourself in the center. 
If you want to do an, an astrological based reading, you could take a picture and um, of the little sign here or just write down Capricorn in the center and then do the reading that way. So either way, it's just a really fun way to get some clarity and to understand what might be going on with yourself for the future. I hope you enjoyed this reading and you can of course find my story cards on my website at kathynichols.com and there's a link in my profile. So have a beautiful year Capricorn and next month I will be sharing our next sign in the zodiac.